Hey guys, welcome to part two of my auxiliary headlight install. Um, if you missed the first part, I'll put it up here in the corner for you. Uh, but pretty much for this part, we're going to be focusing on the switch panel that's going to be housing all of the switches for the different lights. And I'm actually going to be using the uh, stock ashtray to use as a, a box, I guess you can say. I have these switches and I'm just going to be mounting a few of them on the, the front here and they fit just like that. Obviously I'm going to clean and paint this all up, but this is going to be pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, also going to have to be modifying the ashtray a little bit to accommodate that. Um, we're going to have to be cutting out some of the ridges and grooves in here. We're going to take this off. Uh, we also have to cut out some pretty big chunks out of the ashtray here so we can run some wires. And yeah, that's going to be our project for today. So let's get started. <laughs> So I just finished cutting and grinding the ashtray. Both sides of the ashtray are now gone. And then there's also this opening over here on the top right side of the ashtray. This is where the wires are going to um, come through and into the car. Um, other than that though, the ashtray is still pretty strong and still there for the most part. Um, so now our next job is to make the top plate. So here I have a fresh piece of metal. You can see I've already uh, measured out where I want the holes to be. It's a little hard to see. Um, but I center punched all the slots and uh, marked a line here where I'm gonna cut off the extra. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so just finished up drilling out this plate. As you can see, we have all the switches installed now. Um, they're all nicely aligned in the center and they each have equal amount of spacing between them. And then if we bring over the ashtray here, they're going to fit nice and snug inside there. You can see them through the bottom. And this is going to be, again, our access port for the wires. They're all going to run down the center, out this hole, um, and into the center console. So what we have to do is we actually have to drill a hole into the plastic um, where the ashtray unit is um, or else the wires aren't going to be able to fit into the uh, or behind the dash I should say. So that's going to be our next step. I'm going to quickly run outside and we're going to grab um, the plastic unit. So a little change of plan, I uh, went ahead and redid the metal backing plate for the uh, switch panel here. It uh, now has six switches instead of the five I had. Um, I just had the room for it and it just uses the space a little bit more efficiently and that gives me an extra switch that I can use for something in the future if I need it. Um, I also painted the plate black and I've also gone ahead and wired in the main power wire. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and run individual wires to each of these switches. That way we can uh, route it through the center console uh, main bracket thing here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this for you guys and I'll be right back. <laughs> 